Today Current Affairs for Competitive Exams Current Affairs 2021 Online HAL, Rolls-Royce Sign More Hindustan Aeronautics Ltd, HAL, and UK's Rolls-Royce have signed and more to establish packaging, installation, marketing, and services support for Rolls-Royce MT-30 marine engines in India. Through this move, both will work together in the area of marine applications for the first time. The MT-30 is billed as the world's most power-dense, best-in-class naval gas turbine. Wipro to invest £16 million in London. Wipro LTD will invest £16 million, about $22 million, over the next four years to set up a 20,000 square. FT. Innovation Centre in Hoban, London. The centre will serve as Wipro's flagship centre in the UK and offer technology expertise to companies globally. The year 2021 marks Wipro's 75th global anniversary, and 25 years in the UK, where it employs over 4,000 people. Quali to invest $30 MN in India operations. Quali, the UK-based game developer and publisher, is all set to pump $30 million investment in its India operations over the next five years. The firm chose Bengaluru as its first overseas studio in May 2020 which currently employs 50 people including game developers, graphic designers, and programmers. Quali claims to have over 600 million downloads on mobile platforms. ICMR issues RT-PCR testing guidelines. The Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, has issued fresh guidelines for COVID-19 testing as the laboratories face challenges to meet the expected testing target. RT-PCR test must not be repeated in any individual who has tested positive once either by RAT or RT-PCR. There will be no testing required for COVID-19 recovered patients at the time of hospital discharge. Sale enhances daily oxygen supply limit. Sale Steel Authority of India Limited has enhanced its daily limit of oxygen supply to over 1,100 metric tons, MT. The country's largest steelmaker sale has five integrated steel plants located at Bhilai in Chhattisgarh, Rorkela in Orissa, Bokaro in Jharkhand, Durgapur, and Burnpur in West Bengal. It has so far supplied around 50,000 MT of LMO to health facilities. RBI announces 50,000 crore rupees on tap liquidity. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, Governor Shaktikanta Das has announced on tap liquidity to the public in general. The loan will be available at the RBI's repo rate, i.e. 4%. The tenor of the loan will be up to 3 years and on tap loan will be available till 31 March 2022. Under the scheme, banks can provide fresh lending support to a wide range of entities. Rationalization of KYC Compliance Norms The RBI has announced the rationalization of the Know Your Customer KYC Compliance Norms on May 5, 2021. It includes the extension of the scope of Video KYC, known as the Video-Based Customer Identification Process, VCIP, for new categories of customers such as proprietorship firms, authorized signatories, and beneficial owners of legal entities and for periodic updation of KYC. DRDO to set up five medical oxygen plants. Defense Research and Development Organization is setting up five medical oxygen plants within the first week of May 2021 in and around Delhi. These are to be installed at Ames Trauma Center, Dr. M. Manohar Lohia Hospital, Safdar Jung Hospital, Lady Harding Medical College and one at Ames, Jajjar, Haryana. DRDO will set up 500 medical oxygen plants across the country within three months. Mamta Banerjee sworn in as CM of West Bengal. TMC leader Mamta Banerjee was sworn in as the Chief Minister of West Bengal for the third time on 5 May 2021. After the swearing-in of the Chief Minister, newly elected MLAs of the state will take oath in the Assembly in two phases on 6 and 7 May 2021. Mamta Banerjee is serving as the eighth and current Chief Minister of West Bengal since 2011, the first woman to hold the office. Rs. 379 crore transferred under Sambal scheme. In Madhya Pradesh, 379 crore rupees have been transferred into the accounts of 16,844 beneficiaries under the Mukhyamantri Jan Kalyan Sambal scheme. Meanwhile, Free Swastha Ahar Yojana Healthy Food Scheme for the Corona Patients of Bhopal is also being launched. The patient will get nutritious food on time free of cost in the hospital where he is admitted. UpGov launches a five-day campaign. 
The Uttar Pradesh government has launched a five-day campaign from the 5th of May 2021 for the early detection of COVID patients in the villages of the state. The special campaign will run for five days till the 9th of May 2021 in 97,000 villages of the state. A team of health workers will go door to door for early detection of COVID patients. The teams have been provided 10 lakh medicine kits. BCCI suspends IPL 2021. IPL Governing Council and Board of Control for Cricket in India BCCI, has postponed the 14th edition of Indian Premier League in view of surge in COVID cases in the country. The decision was taken unanimously in an emergency meeting on 4 May 2021. The development comes after a lot of players tested positive for corona. CSIR CCMB develops drug for COVID treatment. The CSER Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology has developed, possibly the first specific drug for COVID-19 treatment, which contains therapeutic antibodies. The Drug Controller General of India, DGCI, has given its approval for human trials, Phase 1 and Phase 2 for the VINCOV-19. The VINCOV-19 is a collection of antibodies from horses after they were injected inactivated coronavirus. GOVA identifies 581 sites for oxygen plants. The government has identified 581 sites for setting up additional pressure swing absorption PSA medical oxygen plants in various states. The National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, will be the nodal agency for executing civil and electrical work for these plants and will complete them on a war footing. NHAI will construct infrastructure at a record speed. Go procures 65% more wheat in Rabi season. About 65% more wheat has been procured during the current Rabi marketing season in comparison to the corresponding period in 2020. A quantity of over 299 lakh tons of wheat has been procured against 2020's corresponding purchase of around 181 lakh tons. About 29,46 thousand farmers have already benefited from the ongoing procurement operations with MSP value of over 59,000 crore rupees. Telecom service providers to conduct 5G trials. The Debt of Telecom. has approved the applications of telecom service providers for conducting 5G trials. It approved applications of telecom service providers TSPs, like Bharati Airtel, Reliance Jeevan Focum, Vodafone Idea, and MTNL for conducting 5G trials. These TSPs have tied up with original equipment manufacturers and technology providers Ericsson, Nokia, Samsung, and C. Philippos Macrisostom passes away. Reverend Dr. Philippos Macrisostom, one of India's well-known religious leaders and the oldest serving bishop, passed away in May 2021. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan by President Ram Nath Kovind in 2018. Well-known Malayalam filmmaker, Blissi has made a documentary on the life and vision of the Bishop 100 years of Macrisostom. First molecular image of B1.1.7 COVID variant. Canadian researchers have published the first structural images of a mutation in the B1.1.7 variant of the COVID-19 virus. The image may help to explain why it has proved far more infectious than the previous strain. To visualize the detailed shapes of viruses and proteins, the team used cryo-electron microscopes called CryoM. This variant was first reported by WHO in mid-December 2020. India to take back illegal migrants from UK. Britain and India on 4 May 2021 signed an accord on migration and mobility. The pact will provide enhanced employment opportunities for 3,000 young Indian professionals annually, in return for India agreeing to take back any of its citizens who are living illegally in the UK. The migration pact comes after the two countries announced £1 billion, $1.39 billion, of private sector investment. BCCI grants NOC to four Indian women cricketers. The BCCI has granted no objection certificates to four Indian women cricketers to play in the inaugural 100th tournament in the United Kingdom starting in July 2021. Opener Smriti Mandhana, T20 captain Harman Preet Kaur and all-rounder Deepthi Sharma and Jemima Rodriguez will take part in the 100-ball tournament. The tour will begin with a one-off test at Bristol on June 16, 2021. Jose Mourinho named as his Roma coach.
Jose Mourinho has been appointed Italian football club as Roma's coach on a three years contract from next season onwards. He will succeed Paolo Fonseca. Mourinho has also coached Real Madrid, Manchester United and Chelsea in his coaching career. Mourinho has won 25 major titles in his coaching career, highlighted by 2004 Champions League success with Porto in the 2010 treble with Inter Milan. IITM, UK developed paper-based sensor. The Indian Institute of Technology Madras, IITM, and United Kingdom researchers have developed a paper-based sensor that can detect antimicrobial pollutants, which induce antimicrobial resistance in water bodies. The sensor works on a see and tell mechanism that makes it logistically effective for wide implementation. This research was acclaimed as one of the top 100 in chemistry. EU recommends to ease travel restrictions. The European Union Commission has recommended to ease restrictions on non-essential travel from overseas for those who received the last dose of an EU-approved vaccine. It only allows non-essential travel from seven countries, as of 5 May, 21. The EU has announced plans for a digital certificate for those who are either vaccinated against COVID-19, have a negative test or have recently recovered. India, UK adopt Roadmap 2030. PM Modi and his British counterpart Boris Johnson adopted an ambitious Roadmap 2030 to elevate bilateral ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership in a virtual summit held on 4 May 2021. The two prime ministers have also launched an enhanced trade partnership to unleash the trade potential by setting an ambitious target of more than doubling bilateral trade by 2030. Over 16 CR COVID vaccine doses administered. India has administered more than 16 pro-coronavirus vaccine doses to eligible beneficiaries, as of 5 May 2021. Out of the total, more than 13 pro-doses is the first dose and more than 3 pro-vaccine doses have been administered as the second dose. More than 2,29,000 beneficiaries of the age group 18 to 44 years received their first dose of COVID vaccine on 4 May 2021. Bajaj Group pledges to donate 200 crore rupees. Bajaj Group has pledged to donate 200 crore rupees towards the COVID-19 response. The financial support will be utilized to alleviate the immediate on-ground challenges as well as to build capability and resources to tackle a possible third wave of COVID-19. This contribution is in addition to 100 crore rupees donated by the Bajaj Group in 2020. First supply of biodiesel blended diesel. Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmendra Pradhan flagged off, on 4 May 2021, the first supply of UCO, used cooking oil-based biodiesel blended diesel from Indian oil Stikrikalan Terminal, Delhi. Centre had initiated expressions of interest for procurement of biodiesel produced from used cooking oil, on the occasion of World Biofuel Day on 10 August 2019. Mahesh Balasubramani, MD CEO of Kotak Life. Kotak Life has appointed Mahesh Balasubramani as the Managing Director and CEO. Balasubramani joined Kotak Mahindra Bank in 2005 as the Senior Executive VP before becoming the MD and CEO of Kotak Mahindra General Insurance in 2014. He will take over from Muralidhar Gangadharan. Meanwhile, Suresh Agrawal has been elevated to the post of MD and CEO of Kotak General Insurance. Amarinder Singh launches a new course. Punjab CM Captain Amarinder Singh has digitally launched online program started by Guru Nanak Dev University, GNDU, Amritsar for the Punjabi diaspora settled across the globe. He also ordered the immediate release of 5 Pro Rupees for establishing a language award to promote Punjabi. It will cater to the constant demand of people in UK, USA, Canada, Australia and parts of Africa, and Europe. India, UK announced $1.4 billion trade deal. India and UK have announced $1.4 billion of private sector trade and investment, including a £240 million investment by the Serum Institute of India. The world's biggest vaccine maker will support clinical trials, research, and possibly vaccine production. The Serum Institute, in collaboration with Codagenics, has started early-stage trials of a one-dose nasal vaccine against COVID-19. Ajit Deshpande, Commandant of Oak Centre. Brigadier Rajiv Deshpande has taken over the command of Army Ordnance Corps, Oak Center as Commandant in Sikandarabad. 
the officer took over the reins of Oak Center from Brigadier J.J.S. Bindev, who has proceeded on his next assignment. The Oak Center trains ordnance personnel of the Army for providing logistics support to the field army. Financial incentives for COVID-19 warriors. JNK Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has approved special financial incentives for COVID-19 warriors of Health and Medical Education Department of the UT. The decision will benefit more than 17,000 Corona warriors. The incentive will be 10,000 rupees per month for resident doctors and medical officers, 7,000 rupees per month for nursing and paramedical staff, and 5,000 rupees per month for drivers, sweepers. Verizon to sell media business. Verizon Communications Inc. has agreed to sell its media unit, which includes Yahoo and AOL, to Apollo Global Management Inc. for $5 billion. It looks to offload its digital media business. Verizon will get $4.25 billion in cash, preferred interests of $750 million, and retain a 10% stake in Verizon Media, as part of the deal terms. The business will be called Yahoo when the deal closes. Paytm to set up oxygen plants across 13 cities. Paytm has announced that Paytm Foundation will be setting up oxygen plants in 12 to 13 cities. These oxygen plants would be directly installed at hospitals, which would serve the oxygen needs for the entire hospital. Paytm Foundation has also sourced over 21,000 oxygen concentrators. The company has currently raised 10 crore rupees from people across the country under its hashtag Oxygen for India initiative. Ujwala, 38th National President Fikki Flow. Ujwala Singhania has been appointed as the national president of the Fikki Ladies Organization Flow. It is the oldest women-led and women-centric business chamber of Southeast Asia. She took over as the 38th president of FLOW at the FLO's 37th annual session. She is a director at JK International and also a director at General Data Private Limited. Indian Army's first solar plant in Sikkim. The Indian Army has established its first green solar energy plant, which has a capacity of 56 kVA kilowatt ampere at an altitude of 16,000 feet in northern Sikkim. This project was developed in a partnership with IIT Mumbai. 3,176 Indian origin solar panels in this project will produce 15 lakh units of electricity on an annual basis and enable the government to reduce its expenditure. U.S. clears sale of P-8I aircraft for India. The United States has cleared the potential sale of six additional P-8I maritime patrol aircraft for India, worth $2.42 billion. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSCA, which handles these sales, has notified the U.S. Congress of the clearance of the deal by the State Department. India already has a fleet of P-8I patrol aircraft, with eight ordered in 2009 and four more in 2016. International Day of the Midwife, the 5th of May. International Day of the Midwife is celebrated every year on the 5th of May. The day focuses on the role of midwives and midwifery. Midwifery is skilled, knowledgeable and compassionate care for childbearing women, newborn infants and families throughout pre-pregnancy, pregnancy, birth, postpartum and the early weeks of life. Attempt Daily Current Affairs Quiz.